everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another unboxing video with myself, Sam, and Andy. Roll that intro. What's up everyone? So the news off the press this week is the new Fender Player 2 series. It feels like only yesterday we just got the Player Series, if I'm honest with you, but we're already here at Player 2. Fender's obviously just followed the same kind of thing they did with the American Professionals and then the American Professional uh, Pro 2s. And so, yeah, we're going to see what it's all about. It seems that like there's a few little upgrades here. We ordered a bunch of them, and we've got three over here. Let me bring them in. We, we collected one each. Um, so bend, to... bend the knees. Bend the knees. One, one can't be... must be a base. It's a bit long. Yeah, I'm going to have that one. You're going to have the bass. I think so. Um, and let me, I'm going to sort of guess from the labels, you should have that one because that's more your vibe. Right, I've got this one. Cool. You should have that one. So Ooh. let's, Ooh. look at this. Like, this is, doesn't it feel like Christmas? It does. You know when you're a present. kid and you all have, you have like one present at a time? I mean, you still do that now. Everyone does that. Still. Oh yeah, you have to. It gets, makes it exciting. It does. Yep. See Plus, if I get no presents, it's really good. Think you don't get any presents. Christmas. Get a few. Get a few. They're usually guitars, though. That you bought for yourself? That I bought for myself well in advance of Christmas. So, um... I'm in. Yeah. Oh! It's a Telecaster show. Let's unfurl her. Thank you. Oh, don't lose the bits. Yeah, don't lose that trem arm, Daniel. Yeah, don't confuse... Otherwise, we'll have someone with a P-base with a trem arm. So, at this price point, then, we don't get a gig bag. No, six... I think these are the retail on these like 750, 760. Mm, first point, that's quite a lot of cash to get in a gig bag in my in my yeah. opinion. That's quite a lot of money for no gig bag. Yeah, you get a gig bag with a silver sky SE. Oh yeah. That's a good comparison, Dan. How much is that? Mm, all over the shop. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you <laughs> can get... Roughly, I'm sure they would like to charge a grand for them, but, but yeah, you realistically, ain't... they're like 700 quid. Well, you can get the old colours on offer for 499 at right. the moment. And yeah. I know how good they are, so these are up for some serious competition with those guitars, Ed. And those gig bags are excellent as well. They're not just a floppy, they are. no padded... They're oh, yeah. Gig bag. Oh, look at that, Andy. Colour. Oh, we can gig oh, this. We like... can match in, oh, match in set of... Bell ends. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I don't play bass. You though. look really 80s. Yeah, look, feels cool. It looks amazing. Um, okay, so obviously I have the P bass and it looks insane. I chose when I ordered these. Um, I mean, I don't know what is going on with these pickups. Oh my! Look at this. Look at the, <laughs> the pickup heights. Mm, it's quite. They're like this, but you can't see at home. But one's like slow. Really weird. Um, like someone spends most of their time fingering the A and D and not really much else. Well, there could be a reason, we don't know, but... Well, anyway, I chose this one um, when I was ordering the, the, the base selection of the Player 2s purely because uh, you rarely see, like, Fender player or lower tier series with black scratch play, and it no, makes it look right. so much more high-end. I've got to say, that, that is a good choice on that colour. Yeah. p bass is really... I can just tell like... straight away, it's got a lot of clang to it. I'll tune it up in a minute. What have you got, Dan? I have got the uh, Player 2 Strat in birch green, which um, nice faded kind of colour. It's quite cool. Uh, just a slightly less oh my sparkly God. version almost of the um, sage green colour that they uh, used to do. Like the, yeah, sage. the sage green. It is. Um, obviously white three ply scratch plate on this one. Nice addition, I say addition, nice um, reverting back to the rosewood fretboard. Um, I know there were reasons and stuff and things why they went with um, Poe Faro. Money. But I was um, never, Cheap I know skates. people say like, oh, it's part of the same like family stuff, but it always just looked really dry and pale and just yeah. like... It did look dry, didn't it? Yeah, so... Like the early 90s SRV strats. Welcome addition back to Rosewood. Um, yeah, that looks awesome straight away. We're out. And I, I like as well that they've gone for the um, off-white pickups and knobs on this rather than just bright white. It's quite a nice package, huh? I've got to say, it looks quite cool. Mm. It does look nice. What you got, Andy? I have a Player 2 Telecaster. Um, in coral red, is that right? Yeah, coral red. And um, I've had players, I've, we've tried players before and I wasn't massively impressed, if I'm honest. The frets were a bit sharp. 
wasn't overly impressed. This feels a lot better. It's got a nice satin feeling neck. They might have done that before, I can't remember. Definitely improvement on the on the fret ends and that roll yeah. fretboard. A definite improvement. What's the edge um, of your fretboard like out of interest? It's great. Yeah. It's good. It feels like a, it feels like American Pro, not Pro, American Performer Series, that sort of feel, you know? Nice. It feels just yeah, it's satiny, yeah. the necks as well. It, it feels very much like that sort of thing, and actually so, the frets are very similar. It could just be one, but um, it wouldn't surprise me if it's, the same, if it's the same neck. But anyway, I don't know that. I don't like the six saddle bridge, never have on a telly. That's just my oh, perception. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, it's not for me at all. No. It just, it's all, in, for my opinion, it's just all wrong. But anyway, that's just me. Some of you will talk about intonation. I'm not so worried about it. Feels all right. I think at the price point, not having a gig bag is unacceptable. I think even the Fender gig bags that the performers have are not great, especially when PRS are knocking out some great guitars with gig bags that are exceptional. So, knock a mark for that. Feels good though. So, that's, I'm looking forward to seeing what it sounds like. When I, like, long term viewers of the channel, um, <clears throat> they know that I am, I'm always honest, and a lot of the in recent years, Mexican Fender stuff, like it's always got sharp frets. Yeah, you've given them a hammer in the past. I've given, I always thought I was being harsh. This guy, <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy comes in on a, on a player thing, oh, wow, well, this is not acceptable. Well, it's not, is it? You I, tell me. Yeah. That this day no, I, I agree. This day, you should, you get should have a gig, say, bag, um, price gig bag. It's 700 quid or whatever it was, 650. Yeah, a lot of money. That ain't cheap. That's no cheap guitar when PRS are knocking out. Well, the bases guitars. are more, by the way. But this so, is these like 840. Sorry, Fender. Yeah. We haven't tried them yet. They could be incredible and don't let it put you off. But in my opinion, I'd be thinking, if you're spending that money, you haven't got loads and loads of money so you don't care. So you, you don't want to now spend 100 quid in a gig bag because then you're up to 800 quid. It's just a bit... Yeah. yeah. I, I think you're missing the mark there, personally. I um, am a person, I always say, I prefer gig bags to hard cases. So well, we because, all gig bags, aren't we? Um, everyone loves the idea of a hard case, but then when you're a gig musician, just being to pick up a decent gig bag. It's just so easier. much easier, more portable. I've always used a good If bag. you're a touring musician, like, and you're in the back of lorries and all that stuff, then yeah, hard case. But for like just playing at like festivals and stuff like that, just nice gig bags slung mm. over the shoulder. For me personally, when you are playing something like a premium brand like Fender, where I say premium, old school, original, big name brand like Fender, and you are buying anything with Fender on the headstock, for me, you want the full package. You want yeah. at least a gig bag in there. Yeah, I think so. I'd agree yeah. completely. I know it's a small thing, but it's not small because it's, it's a lot of money. So. But anyway, anyway, that's but enough about uh, talking about what this <laughs> doesn't have. <laughs> I've dialed this in, by the way. So uh, none of us here are bass players, and I really hope this doesn't clip at home. Sounds all right. Sounds right. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep the volume a little bit lower just so I make sure I'm not distorting because the bass tone is probably quite loud compared to guitar. But yeah, it's um, it seems. <laughs> Seems to sound pretty damn cool. Sounds bassy. Sounds like a bass. Yeah, I mean, it feels amazing to play and it is spanky. And actually, what is quite nice, I don't know what the body wood is, is it outer? Yes. It's, it's shaking against my body. It's yeah, like, yeah. It sounds like it's giving it some. Even acoustically, I can hear it. Yeah. Here. So Very worth, cool. Worth mentioning um, something that is quite cool uh, this year with the Player 2 uh, series is depending on the colour. Now, I think this is poorly worded on the Fender website because they go on about that there's a selection of colours that you can get in a selection and choo choose your like body woods where you can get chambered mahogany, uh, chambered ash, I think, and um, older. Now, you don't get to, like, you can't get this with like a mahogany body. It's depending on the color you buy, depends on the material. I think These, that's gonna make more sense the, though, yeah. over the coming just, months when the new models come. It confused the hell out of us when we were looking at the, um, when, when they announced them, and I was like, what, what does it mean that you can, pick your body wood that you want. And I was looking and um, I had to get some clarification on it. But these, all three of these in the solid colors are um, older. Yeah, I think it's gonna make a lot more sense when the rest of the models come out and you see that there's semi-hollow, um, uh, hollow, uh, trans translucent and hollow finishes. I see. Well, if I play this, can you just whack the tune on, please? Yeah, 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 it's on. I've just turned it on. Thank you, Sam. 
Yeah, so um, there's a yeah, there's a couple of transparent finishes coming out soon as well. Um, I can't remember what other ones we got. We got the blue strat as well. I think the so from where we get a lot of our guitars, the red Telecaster, the coal red Tele was the most popular. Yeah, um, that was the fastest selling I think currently. Um, and then this green, I just thought it's just I haven't seen that colour on a strap for for. I don't know if I ever have really. It's very close to the Mystic Seafoam, but without the sparkle. Yeah, yeah. One, one of my favorite finishes that you can get uh, from Fender stuff is um, Sage Green Metallic or Sage Green. Oh yeah. This is like a more pastel version of that. Pastel. Come on, Andy, let's hear it. Let's see what this telly can do. Starting lower. up a little bit. Bridge pickup. That sounds good to me. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yep, sounds those, good to me. Those pickups that clean sounds, up really well. Yeah, that's what I was sounds surprised good. by, how much they clean so, up by. Sounds good. I'm gonna. I might even compare it to my telly down edge to see because that's quite impressive. I'm not used to yeah. your amp. Yeah. You're over there, but that sounded pretty darn good actually. Yeah, yeah. that sounded great. So the pickups aren't new, uh, from what I can see. They're the same pickups that were in the previous iteration of the player series. Uh, new things that you've got is that you've got the rolled fretboard. I can edges. feel that. I can definitely feel uh, that. You've got the better tuners. Yeah, better tuners on there. Which uh, Look, let me cheat. It's written on there. Um, Classic gear tuners, which yeah. I believe are an upgrade. I think they're all vintage style as well. Yeah, that's what I mean, they look yeah. cooler. I and mean, they won't be any better, but they look better. You've got the return to Rosewood and... Yeah, um, yeah I'm impressed so far. Different colours. All right. I'm impressed with the telly, so... Yeah. So good, so good. Can you see the tuner? I can see the tuner. Do I have a... Oh, you must do. Um, yeah, that would be good to try actually against your telly. It's worth a, minute, a shot, isn't it? Because I can't see... hear it from me because your cab's over there. So it's yeah, all... no, I think it's, it did sound really good from where I am. It did sound Cle good. I was shocked how well it cleaned up, and I thought actually, yeah, yeah. that's where you... it falls down normally. Well, and when you were playing on the neck, I thought, oh, that sounds really good. Like neck pickups very often sound good. I was like, the telltale sign is now when you switch to the bridge, is it just nasty and harsh? And it wasn't. No, that's what I'm good. waiting to hear. It's really smooth. It did sound good. It did sound really good. The neck. It's a modern neck. It's not. Is it? If you're used to any you vintage tallies, pretty much. Actually, I suppose a 70s tally's got a neck players. It's a very slim neck. It's not a bad thing. It's just bad. Sorry, I cut you off there. No, carry on. It's fine. Carry on. Carry on playing. <laughs> um, yeah. So fourth position. That crazy, yeah. Band, though. It's, right. it's okay. usable. It's a bit spiky. Um, it's. I think it sounds good. They're well balanced. I'll say that though. They are balanced. <laughs> Gone out of tune. Um, oh, obviously, new strings, nice. but. Um, new I'm strings, and that. actually the, the bridge actually isn't as high as I thought. Quite a lot of new fenders that. we get, and the bridges are just like straight no. up in here, a terrible setup, but it's that's well actually fitting. all right. It's well set up, isn't it? I, the well, pickups are balanced nicely. I, I would say the action could come down a bit. The action is quite um, girthy as you get up there, um, and there's a bit too much relief in the neck. But 
Um, just little tweaks. It's, it's not like crazy, crazy out. Nice. But yeah, uh, just first impressions of sound there. Um, neck, middle pickup, all sound great. Bridge pickup, a little bit spiky, but this is the lower end of the Fender brand. Um, Which is crazy. Yeah, yeah the pickup's cool. not high either, so you get your ears what you get. Um, yeah. Um, let's compare these tellies quickly because oh. that is actually something I'm kind to of listen. intrigued to see what. I mean, there the is a little bit of gain on. You've got a 66 Pro reverb on there. Yep. Take it down a bit. Back up again. Hold, Daniel. Let's hope this is in tune. bit different but it's not, not I don't know how it's miles no away. but I mean, I'll, put it, I'll try that one again in the room in the room I can hear quite a, a large yeah. difference in the sense that like it's but it's it's not this like night and day one's 50% good and one's 100 it's just there's something about like a lot of the custom shop stuff where it just sounds very refined yeah. I can hear more that sounds now. more woofy now yeah. now, go, yeah. now you're coming back to it yeah, yeah. So, you know. But yeah, there's a yeah. big difference in price. Four times the price, so that's fair. Neither, really neither is stopping you from getting one of the best telly tones you've ever heard. If you get, no. you, if you play them right, you get your amps set oh, up, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. totally can achieve absolutely fun, like, I fantastic could I could results play that with either. Yeah, I could play and record with it and it wouldn't be an issue. Not yeah. at all. It, it, was, it would be... It's fine, I've got no issue. I like the fact that the pickups are sat right until someone ruins it by jacking them up, touching the strings. I think it's good. I think it's really good. The fact that that's, uh, I don't know how much custom shop tellies are, but that wasn't cheap. It's done a good job. I really like that. I, I think the telly sounds a lot better than the Strat. I, I probably um, would agree, to be fair. It's, it's definitely, I know obviously it, it's the kind of sound of a telly, but it's just got more weight behind it. It sounds... Um, it's good weight as well. If it's, if it's solid out there, like you say, that's not a bad weight for... You know, given the fact these guitars yeah. won't have sat, the wood won't have sat for 10 years aging and maturing, it, it won't have done. No. That ain't bad for a bit of green wood if it is in fact green. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. Yeah, yeah amazing. Yeah. Well, let's give them a little rundown. I mean, I'm not going to lie, the P bass I've played is amazing. Even just holding this, I can kind of just tell straight away. This is my kind of strat neck shape, to be honest with you. Too thin? It's not too thin, no. Really? Yeah, it's Sorry, all right. It? It's a modern C, but it's like, don't get me yeah. wrong, it's like, it's, it's on the thin end, but it's not. Too bad at all. I like it. Um, but this would shoot. This would suit. Certainly sounds nice acoustically. More players. The, the I don't want to generalise, but the most people who are going to buy this guitar at this price point, this neck would suit them more than the big neck I've got on now. I reckon. Oh god. Yeah. So this is going to suit way more people, general purpose than my, the huge neck I've got on there. So I think it's probably a good thing that it's quite slim and quite modern feeling. I think this thing might hit new levels as well if you block the bridge out. Yeah. Yeah. Like I. I always yeah. find whatever strat I play that the bridge position sounds nice. quite harsh when you've got a loose floaty bridge. I like to just crank, crank chuck, it down. chuck an extra 12 springs in from, there. From um, first impressions, very early impressions, that I could happily just take that and gig that as it is. Yeah, I could like, uh, just definitely. Straight yeah. away. That, I'd want to play with it a little bit. I'd want to do something with the bridge pickup. I'd want to block the trem down or at least make it so the trend's flat against the body. Unless you were in a deep purple cover band. Well, yeah. And you couldn't do that. But, um, yeah, that to me, um, could just do a little bit of tweaks just to personalise it a little bit, whereas that just seems like, yeah, straight away, straight That's out of the box. Really, really good. It does look good with the rosewood. Um, all right. There we go. I am going to give these, the general Player 2 series, a 7 out of 10 for effort. I think they've, I think they've done really well. I think... You know, you just have to come to expect the same way when you buy a cheap end Gibson. You just got to appreciate if you want the name on the headstock, you are not going to get as much as you are with other brands. And I think they've done pretty well, really, for the money here. I'll go with that. So, yeah. Dan? Uh, I'll do the usual go for some pros and cons. 
Pros, if you are looking for something with the name on the headstock that is gonna play well and feel um, great, especially once you've set it up to your own sort of specs, then at this price point, these are fantastic. Um, cons, I, I can't think of any, it's not like the usual, they, this is just these ones out of the box, the yeah. ends of the frets, everything, there's nothing to complain about on there, especially at that price point. Cons, no gig bag. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I mean, you got this. Yeah. We've, we've you got, got a, a gig sheet. box. We've got a sheet. You've got a box, yeah. Got box, sheet. It back, um, box it back up for every gig. Yeah, yeah there you go. go. Pro, uh, pros, great value strat with the name on the headstock, all that kind of stuff. And it's a fender, you can mod it to whatever you want. Yeah. Cons, no gig bag, that's it. Andy? Uh, similar to both of you. I think I'm going to give it 6.5 out of 10. I think it's a great guitar. You can gig it, you can play it. It sounds great. Um, not having a gig bag, gig bag is not acceptable at this price because why would you buy the Strat over the Silver Sky? I don't know. Apart from the fact that I don't like signature models, it's, the Silver Sky is, in my opinion, just better than that and it comes with a gig bag. That's my opinion. I think the Silver Sky has done well, though, in, in distancing <laughs> itself from seeming like a signature yeah, model. It has, it's a yeah, bit yeah, like calling yeah, yeah. a Les Paul a signature model, Which really. It, like it doesn't say Paul, so yeah. John Mayer on it. You <laughs> no, know what I mean? They've done well they there, have. really. This is great. I do like it. It's really impressive. Um, so 6.5, partly because of the gig bag, partly as well, I'm just looking at, you know, what it costs to build these things. And I shouldn't do that because it's a fender, they can charge what they want, and that's the, that's the point. Um, so 6.5, that sounds nice. harsh, but nice. I still cool. think it's a great guitar, but there's plenty out there. Nice one. Well, thanks for tuning in, you legends. As always, um, you'll be able to win all of these over on Guitar Gear Giveaway, so do make sure to check us out if you are in the UK. Uh, and more importantly, hit that subscribe if you like listen us, listening to us uh, bumbling fools chat about guitars and Dan's extremely poignant reviews. Um, we uh, will be back with more videos very, very soon. So comment below if you've got any questions. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.